My name is Ayel Mellah. I'm a 15-year-old Muslim, Canadian, Egyptian, soccer player, writer, high school student. But more importantly, I'm a person who cares about the plight of people around the world. After traveling around the world with my family and witnessing inequality everywhere, I became passionate about social justice. In the Quran, the holy book of Muslims, God tells us in chapter 5, verse 32, and whoever saves the life of one person, it is as if he has saved the whole of mankind. This verse has inspired me to use my writing and my voice to shed light on imp important issues around the world. So I started writing. My mom then entered me in my first poetry competition, which I lost, but it's where I found my fa passion for poetry. This poem that I'll be performing today is a reflection on what it's like to walk in my shoes and the shoes of many others around the world. My poem is called Terra Is. You blame us for our religion and modesty, have you ever thought of your hypocrisy? It's okay for a nun to be fully covered to show her faith in God, but when a Muslim woman does it, she's oppressed and her religion is flawed? You talk about us being oppressed when 1400 years ago, we had the right to own property, be educated, work. We could be soldiers and even vote. It only took 1300 years after us, but I don't wanna gloat. It's just, the way we see the world is so wrong. Why can't we all just get along, embrace our diversities because Muslims created coffee, algebra, clocks in universities. We created cameras, maps, and writing down the notes in music, thanks in advance to all those who find it therapeutic. We created surgery, optics, the toothbrush, and we were quite ahead in astronomy. But no one really cares what we did for this economy. We don't destroy, we evolve. So why can't we resolve, resolve this situation, come together as a nation? Because not all Germans are Nazis, not all whites are supremacists, and not all Muslims are terrorists. The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us to love and respect our parents. Is that what terror is? Is terror to be kind to whoever, no matter what they look or act like? Is terror to be generous in what we have because we're all alike? Is terror believing that God made us all equal so that's how we should treat each other? Because I want to be able to talk to you, one human, to another. Can we now talk about real terror, what terror actually is? Terror is killing over one million Afghanis to find one man or dropping an atomic bomb on Japan. Terror is the American prison system that institutionalizes slavery, incarcerating more blacks than ever in history. Terror is Muslims being put in concentration camps in China, or the Barakat family being murdered in North Carolina. Terror is having millions of people being displaced in refugee camps, or how there are still families in North America using food stamps. Terror is the Sisi and Burhan government shooting at peaceful protesters from Egypt to Sudan or the amount of innocent people killed by the Ku Klux Klan terror, is our governments giving billions in weapons to aid Israel occupy Palestine, because we all know it's all about the Benjamins, more commonly known as the dollar sign. Terror is shooting up a mosque in New Zealand after being greeted by Salam brother then proceeding to kill like no other. Terror is the attack on Mali where over 150 Muslims were killed. You stripped away their lives, their legacies unfulfilled. I promise you, I keep the people of Yemen in my prayers and so should you. Because no one here wants to experience what they're going through. I just want to be able to live in a world without war, discrimination, just think about that combination being able to walk into an airport and not be greeted by, you've been randomly selected for an exit security check. A world without all the Islamophobia bombings from Christchurch to Quebec, because the fear or hate you give has been fed to you by the media. It's all like Wikipedia, people can put in their own opinions about us, it's all fake news. Because we don't abuse, drink booze, or hate Jews, it's all fake news. See. The media manipulates and deceives, and all the fake news will never put your mind at ease. The media discriminates, and you all lip sync. I just want you to reevaluate, rethink. Why is it that we can't find a reliable news source? When a Muslim commits terror, he's a terrorist. But when a white man does the same, he's mentally ill. Of course, we don't blame his whole religion or all white people. That would be absurd. 
When a Muslim does a good deed, it's unheard. But when a white man does the same, it's documented word for word. You can't blame a whole religion because the actions of a few people. We are taught to be peaceful, not evil, treat everybody equal. Like Malcolm X once said, if you're not careful, the media will have you hating the people who are oppressed and loving those who are doing the oppressing. So let's look past how I'm dressing and worry about the issues that are truly pressing. My articles of clothing are a part of my religion. I should be able to wear what I want when I want without needing your permission. It's my decision. How would you understand if you're not affected? Muslim kids all over the world being bullied because of the religion, but that's what's to be expected. After you say that a religion of 1.7 billion people are terrorists because of minorities' actions, we shouldn't be divided into factions. Our ancestors created inequality. This isn't a topic for frivolity, because even though we may not speak the same language or dress the same way or even have the same blood trace, we are all one nation. We are all the human race. Thank you.